All right, we're going to do some larger numbers today. Uh, we've done the smaller ones, and most people are pretty good with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use the same technique we used for the smaller ones uh, and give you some kind of small tips that I think will really help you that still relate to the stuff that we've already learned and talked about. We'll probably get through about five or six examples here, and then I'll ask you to do some on your own and try them out before you actually really try it out for yourself. Okay, so here's my first one, negative 54 plus negative 80. Okay, um, in the past, what we've done is we've got the plus, so we're in good shape. I've got 54 negatives, and I've got 80 negatives. Uh, well, I'm not going to draw all those negatives. Okay, that would take forever. That would be crazy. But what we can do is we can visualize what we would have in each column. I would have 54 negatives here, and I would have 80 negatives here. So I would have nothing to cancel out. All I would just have is a lot of negatives. So we're basically saying, how many negatives do I have all together? So all I would need to do is uh, 54 plus 80, 8, let's see, 13, 134. And it's 134 negatives is what I have. So I just put a negative sign in front of it, and we're in good shape. Okay. All I had was negatives. That's it. Now, if we use kind of a number line, I'm not going to draw the whole number line out, but I'm going to kind of show you what we're talking about. If I start at the first number, which is negative 54, I'll just put negative 54 right here. Okay, I am going 80 in the negative direction. So I know that I'm going to go 80 this way. And if you think about it, my next number will be negative 55, negative 66, negative 67. Okay, we're going this way. So all you would really have to do is put 80 onto the 54 because the numbers are moving that direction. And eventually, if you went 80 this way, 54 plus 80, you're going to get all the way over to negative 134. All right, 102 minus 147. The first thing I'm going to start off with here is formatting my question correctly. Okay, so I've got a minus. And we always put the little plus in there. So I'm going to do plus negative 147. So now if you think about it, I've got 102 positives, and I've got 147 negatives. Before I even start, I should be able to tell if this is positive or negative. I have 102 positives. I have 147 negatives. So I have more negatives than positives. So all I have to do is I'm going to put my negative sign here because I know it's going to be a negative number. Now, if you think about how the positives and negatives work, I would have 102 of these plus signs. I would have 147 of these negative signs, so we're going to be doing some canceling out. Every positive over here would cancel out with a negative over here. So all I have basically have to do is figure out how many more negatives do I have than positives. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do 147 minus 102, and my answer would be 45. Now, we already decided that we have more, po more negatives than positives, so my answer is just going to be negative 45. If we want to use a number line technique, here's what I would do for this one. I would start at 102, which would be right here. I need to go 147 in the negative direction. So one thing I like to do is, uh, I, if I go 147 this way, I'm going to go on the other side of zero. So that means I know it's going to be negative. So I'm just going to put my zero here as kind of a benchmark. Okay. So if you think about it, from 102 back to zero is 102. Now the remaining is how many we go into the negative, and it's the same thing. If I do 147, take away 102, uh, I've got my 45, negative 45 that I get to here. Okay. That's really all you need to do. 431 plus negative 225. This problem is already set up for success here. We've already got our plus sign in the middle. So I have 143, start over, 431 positives, 225 negatives. So I know before I even start this problem, I have more positives than I have negatives. So my answer is going to be a positive number. So I'll just put a plus there to indicate it's going to be positive. 
Now I have to do is really figure out if I have 431 positives and 225 negatives, there's going to be some canceling out because I have positives and I have negatives. Okay. So after the canceling out is all done, how many of these positives am I going to have left? All I simply have to do is 431 take away 225, 602. My answer would be positive 206. If you use a number line technique and that helps you to visualize it, let's start at 431. 431 would be about right here. If I go 225 in the negative direction, that's 225 this way. Now, unlike the last problem, this would not get us back to zero. We would have to have 431 to get back to zero. We don't. We only have 225. So that's going to give me 225 this way. 225 this way would be at positive 206. And all you would have to do is subtract to figure that out. All right, next problem. Negative 1,170 minus a negative 522. This problem is not set up how we need it to be set up, so we need to get it that way. Remember, if we have the two negatives right beside each other, the two minuses, that's the way to become one big plus. Okay? Now, I've got this many negatives, I've got this many positives. Clearly, I've got a lot more negatives than I have positives. So my answer is going to be a negative number. If you think about canceling out, I would have negatives here and positives here, so there is going to be some canceling going on because a negative cancels with a positive. So I need to know after all this canceling is done, how many of these negatives am I going to have left? And all I would really have to do is, after all the canceling, it would just be a subtraction problem. 522, 8, 4, 6, negative 648. If we use the number line method here, uh, what we would want to do is, and I need some little bit more room here, we need to start at the first number, which is negative 1,170. I am going 522 in the positive direction this time. If I go 522 in this direction, that's not going to get us to zero. Zero is going to be all the way over here. Okay? I would have to go 1,170 to get to zero. So if I went this way, this many, uh, it would again just be our subtraction problem. And I would just have my problem up here. I could subtract. I would have my 648, which we knew was negative. So that would be a negative 648. Alright, last example before we do the real thing, before you get some practice opportunities here. 22,300 minus negative 400. We've got to set this problem up so we're going to be successful with it. I've got my two negatives, which we've talked about, make our big plus. Now if you think about the problem, I've got 22,300 positives. I've got 400 positives over here. So if you think about the canceling out thing, we don't have anything to cancel out. Everything is positive. You don't cancel a positive with a positive. Okay. So all we have to do is basically add the amount of positives together. So since all we have is positives, I know my answer is going to be positive, and then we just need to add these together to figure out, since there's no canceling, how many positives do I have? So if I just added these two together, I can just tell that that 4 would be added to that. So it would be 22,700. If we use the number line here while we set this up, I would have be starting at 22,300. I would need to go 400 in the positive direction. So that would be 400 this way. Now, think about it. Zero is over here. Okay. So if I go 400 that way, I am going to be at 22,700. These are your example problems. Uh, go ahead and give them a try. See how they turn out for you. 
uh, and then watch the rest of the video to figure out how you did. All right, let's see how these turned out for you. Um, hopefully you formatted correctly to start with because I think that will help you out. Let's start with the first one. We've got 147 minus 204. So we want to sneak that plus sign in there. So now we have 147 positives, 204 negatives. So if you think about it, our final answer, if this is how many positives we have and this is how many negatives we have, we have more negatives than positives. So my answer I know is going to be a negative. Okay. Now, if you think about it, we've got positives here and negatives here. So we are going to be canceling. So all we need to do is figure out how many more of these we have than the positives. And if you actually do the subtraction, there are 57 more negatives than there are positives. So my answer here is going to be negative 57. For the second question, this is already formatted just fine. 63 negatives, 101 positives. Our answer is going to be positive because we have more positives then we have negatives. Uh, so my question really is, since we'll have canceling because we have positives and negatives here, we're going to have to cancel some things out, how many more positives do I have than negatives? If you do the subtraction, we have 33 more positives left over at the end after we cancel out the negatives. So my answer would be positive 33. Next question. Not formatted correctly, but it will be quickly as soon as you turn this to a big plus. Now we have negative 107, positive 42. Answer is definitely going to be negative because we have more negatives than we have positives. Now I just need to figure out how many more negatives I have than positives. That's just going to be subtracting or canceling out. If I subtract, that's going to be 65, and I know it's negative 65 because we have more negatives than positives. Last one, we need to format this one correctly too. So I got to sneak that plus in the back there. Okay. So now I have negative 257 and I have negative 820. I don't have any canceling here. Okay. Because these are all negative and these are also negative. So there's no canceling involved. So we're basically just asking how many negatives do I have all together? My final answer is going to be negative, and I need to know how many negatives I have all together. That would just be adding these two numbers together. And when I take this amount of negatives and add it on to, the ne to, the, to this amount of negatives, my answer is going to be 1,077.